on a 2001 Mustang. Uh, it's my understanding that these uh, mirrors or this technique's the same for 99 through 2004, which you may want to check before you start it. I've never done this before, so that could be a good thing because whatever I run into, you'll probably run into as well. So let's see if we can get in here and figure out how to do this. What you'll need is a small flat screwdriver, a socket, and I pre measured the nuts on the new mirror and it looks like it's a 7 16 but we'll check that and make sure that that's accurate and you'll also need a Phillips head screwdriver I have my toolbox over there in case I need more stuff but um, I believe that's all we're gonna have to have first thing we're gonna do is pop this little speaker cover off right here just slip the screwdriver into the back pull it loose very gently and it comes right off now if you look right up in here you can get right in that little hole there you'll see that there is a screw in there and I believe that is a Phillips head so we're gonna go ahead and reach in and see if we can get that to come loose not very big so we'll pull that loose right there there it goes and that just comes right off just don't lose your screw Okay, so that's out of the way, we'll put it in there, and it seems like there's a little clip, you know what, I think I'm just going to leave that, let that hang, I believe that'll be okay. Alright, now we're going to go back to our same little um, flat screwdriver, and there's a little notch right here on this panel, and you're going to pop that one loose, and you're going to work your way around very gently, get all of these to come loose should just come right out if you're like me you don't want to break these things so you kind of make me a little nervous but you know it goes on that means it's got to come off right so we're gonna make this see if I can come loose let's try it this way come on this back side wants to hang or something maybe I need to get under there a little bit or something bingo all right not too bad. I'm always scared of that stuff because of plastic, you know. But looks like we're in pretty good shape there. I'm gonna find the little clip by wiggling it. You reach with some wires in here with a harness. If you watch, you'll see this one wiggle, and you can feel that this just basically feeds down here and goes down here to your electric mirror. So I'm gonna reach in here, and I'm probably gonna block your view a little bit, but I'm gonna see if I can't make that thing. I'm loose. Let's see. Tell you what, when all else fails, look at your new part. See how it's going together. Looks like it's got a little slot there, and there's probably a little guy here holding it on. So I'm going to try to find that on the one in here. And I bet you I'm going to have to lift up on it just a little bit. It's secured to the wall. That's what's making this a little more difficult but it's gonna come loose you watch all right I had to go in with a flashlight and look but basically I don't know if you can see in here let's shine a flashlight bring the camera in real close and let's see if you can even see that basically what I did there is a notch that sticks up right there on that plug well there's a piece that holds it right inside there and you basically I went in with a flat screwdriver and I held that little clip up and then reached in with a small pair, you can pull back out and see me, pulled in with a small pair of uh, needle nose pliers to pull the plug loose. So now the female end of it's still down in there, it's attached to the part of the car. I do not want to pull that loose. Um, but the clip, the cable now, I can pull it all the way through and get it back out. So we're in pretty good shape there. All right, so now if you look right here, you'll go, you'll see the three nuts that are holding the mirror on. We're going to go ahead and take those loose. Yep, that's a 7 16 So get your 7 16 there. Maybe find a wrench. Oh, my socket's going to fit in here. Good thing about me never doing this before 7 16 does fit that and it works just fine. But I had my extender on here, of course, I just always use it. Even with the extender off, I can't get in there to fit. So, in looking through my toolbox, 
couldn't find my 7 16 inch wrench but I, I tried an 11 millimeter and guess what it fits so 7 16 or 11 millimeter Joe one makes you happiest don't know why there's I always count on them being um, SAE on American made cars, but I guess that's not always true. Yeah, there's a good noise. Alright, looks like the old mirror is coming off. You know what? I bet it's going to be the hardest part. I'm going to be threading that cable back through there. The one I had a hard time unhooking. Sitting here looking because this is coming off really easy here. But yeah, mounting that thing back on there. And dropping that thing back through there might not be so easy. Right. I just found something else. Inside of there, there's a little wiring clip holding that wire back here. I'm going to just cut it. Actually, I'm going to just get it with a pair of needle nose and see if I can twist it and pop it loose. Probably um, not going to uh, replace that. I'm probably just going to leave that um, without, you know, trying to replace that little white clip. I don't see where it's going to need it. What's it going to do? Old one's out. All right. Let's get our new one. Got the nuts already on it. Pop those loose, of course. Handy dandy little. Plastic covers. Alright. Now let's just thread this back through here. Fish that. I told you that's gonna be a hard part. And let's get that mounted in there. Secure. At least I didn't drop it inside the door, right? That would be the crappy part. Right. We'll hand tighten those for now. Let's see if I can find this. Look at that. Easier than I thought. Now we'll rotate it. This has got a little, you can see right there, it's got a little fins that stick up. Those go to the outside. If you took the old one off, um, you'll know what I'm talking about. It fits exactly the same. So we're going to reach in here, it's kind of tight, but check it with a flashlight, just to make sure it got in there and got seated. Looks like it's seated down in there, the little, like I said, there's a little top flip, a top flap that comes over that holds that in and looks like that made it. So we're in good shape there, I'm going to put this back on, hopefully without Tearing up anything. Always hate those parts. Get that together. There's a tab right here that you want to line up. You can see the hole for it there. And get that to line up. And then that one in last. Remember, I only hand snugged those nuts earlier, so we're going to go back and tighten those things up. Oh. 
looks like the 11 millimeter does not fit the new screws quite as good as it fit the old ones but it's still working again if you're like me sometimes your tools get misplaced my 5 8 or my 7 8 whatever the thing was we were using earlier is somewhere besides where it's supposed to be but we'll get these Man, it's working. I'm going to snug these up good. That feels pretty good. Let's get a little bit of this top on. Just about done, it's snugging up pretty good there. And go ahead and check everybody. Make sure they're all good and happy. I believe so. I'm gonna slip this on just to be sure. I believe that's in pretty good shape. Alright, now all we have to do put this back together now putting this screw into this hole and up here is not gonna be easy so a little trick with the tape there just got my screw taped onto it just lightly and I'm gonna slide this in here and cinch it up now that little pleat piece inside there that the screw is going into is a little white plastic thing So it may not cinch up really tight. I mean, uh, just be careful. Tape came off my screwdriver. It's probably in there with the screw. It's not going to hurt anything. I'm going to leave it. Take the speaker cover. Snap back on. That's what I like to hear. Everything looks good. I'm um, glancing across the passenger side. It looks the same. The overhang, everything's good. The mirror seems to be solid. Things back on here. All I have to do is test it and make sure it's good. So that's how you...